My name is Egeta Kilishek. I'm a PhD candidate in Dr. Sheila Singh's lab at McMaster University in Ontario, Canada, and my thesis focuses on inhibiting the formation of brain metastasis with small molecules. Brain metastasis are the most common tumors of the central nervous system, most commonly spreading from primary lung, breast, and melanoma tumors. They are associated with very poor survival rates of four to 12 months after diagnosis. And this is largely because current therapies are inefficient at completely eradicating the cancer cells after the established brain metastasis. We in the lab receive surgically excised tumor tissue samples directly from the clinic and establish them into cell lines in vitro. We use these cell lines to model brain metastasis in vivo by injecting them into the orthotopic site of a mouse depending on the primary tumor of origin. When we inject these cells orthotopically, the mice succumb to primary tumor burden before we're able to visualize full-blown brain tumors. However, when we analyze these brains with more sensitive methods, such as fluorescence-activated cell sorting, we see a very small population of human cells in these mouse brains, which leads us to believe that we isolate them at the pre-metastatic stage, which means they have just crossed the blood-brain barrier but not yet had enough time to form brain metastasis. RNA sequencing tells us that premetastatic brain metastasis cells have a very distinct genetic profile compared to their established brain metastasis tumor counterparts. Mining this genetic profile has led us to wonder if we can target the premetastatic stage and prevent brain metastasis from forming altogether. There are almost 4,000 commonly deregulated genes among premetastatic lung, breast, and melanoma brain metastasis cells. We used this as a query signature for connectivity map analysis, which pointed us towards six drugs that significantly inhibit the cell viability of our brain metastasis cells in vitro. One of these drugs, drug A, affects the cell viability of lung, breast, and melanoma brain metastasis cells in vitro, but does not have any effect on our neural stem cell controls. This drug also imparts a significant survival advantage when administered to mice in vivo compared to placebo. Overall, drugs that target brain metastasis progression specifically at the premetastatic stage could slow or even prevent tumor formation and transform a fatal systemic disease into an eminently more treatable one. Thank you to the Singh Lab and all of its sponsors for supporting this work and to the Doctoral Forum Student Committee for selecting me to present this talk today. Thank you.